Hey everybody, Marcos Viegas here, being joined with Brendan Schaub, and we're right in the middle of fight week, man. Mayweather versus McGregor, August 26th, happening at the T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas. It's been a crazy week for me, man. It's been it's been stressful, dude. I would imagine you're doing a lot of media uh, appearances. It's been kind of crazy, right? Non-stop, man. I broke this fight down 1,000 different ways, and uh, it's been fun, though. It's it's good, man. It's, it's all gonna good. be at 1,001 right here, Let's do it. <laughs> right now. Yeah, here, so we, we got this little chart breakdown. We uh, bust this little thing out for every big fight that happens on on the boxing side of things, where we try to categorically break down what traits the fighter has an advantage over uh, the other, as we see here, power, speed, defense, technique, footwork, chin, experience, ring IQ, ring control, and the X factor coming into this fight. Normally, I don't fill these out, but I'm going to go ahead and try to fill some out so we can get some good back and forth between each other. So we'll go ahead and, and start off uh, with you, Brendan. I'm going to hand over the magic mic. Can we go one at a time? We'll go one at a time. We'll go one at a time. Power, who do you give it to? Power. Connor all day. All right, uh, why? I, I think when you look at Connor, especially here, he's the bigger guy. He, he's going to be the, the more dynamic striker. We know exactly how Floyd's going to fight. But when it comes to being an actual knockout artist, that, that goes to Connor, Connor McGregor. Especially he's the bigger guy. You know, we've seen him knock out some, some guys with good chins. You know, granted it's an MMA, but he is a knockout artist. In terms of that category, I'm going to go ahead and agree with you. I, I think Connor, like you mentioned, is the bigger guy. He's put out bigger guys, too, yes. uh, as well as his career. Last knockout Floyd got was against Ricky Hatton. Last legit knocked out. Yeah, and the, yeah uh, well, it was a knockout, but it was a weird set of circumstances. Ortiz was like, wait, what's that? Yeah. 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 So that happened back in 2007. Uh, so we'll give that nod to Conor McGregor. That's but the uh, power is the last thing to go in a guy. If you don't have in the first place, it's it's the first thing to go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now moving on to speed. This is uh, one that could go either way, you know? How do you see it, Brennan? It, it depends what we're talking about. I think overall reaction time, I would give to Conor McGregor. But when, when you talk about as far as slipping punches, um, it, it's tough because both guys are very good at it. That, 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 that's probably the toughest one for me on this because... And you can give it to both. Uh, then I, I, I would... You know what? You, I'll, 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 I'm gonna get. I'm gonna be fair here. I'm trying not to be so biased. I'm gonna give it to Floyd just because, you know, he, he's faced a lot of guys. Doesn't get hit. Um, his IQ is. I, see, I don't think Floyd physically is a faster athlete, but his cerebral game is so on point. He responds to things quicker. So if you're an orthodox stance or in a southpaw stance, he can predict what you're gonna throw before you even throw it, and he gets out of the way. And so it's not a matter of nanoseconds. He knows, can almost predict it, if that makes sense. So I'll give that advantage to Floyd. Me looking at it, uh, I think you brought up a good point. I've always said this about Floyd Mayweather. The hand speed's there. The footwork, in terms of the foot speed, he's 40. It could be something that creeps up in the fight. But one thing that I've always felt was out of this world with Floyd is his reflexes. Yes. I, I think absolutely out of this world. It's something that I haven't seen. But given that... Connor's a young dude too as well. Uh, hand speed wise, I want to give it to Floyd, but overall, if you're looking at reaction time, yeah. the way they move in the ring, yeah. the the footwork, uh, how they move their legs, to me it's even, I think. Yeah, I, I agree. Again, that's a tough one to score because there's certain things as far as physically Connor's faster at, but F Floyd, his position is going to be faster because he's he's been in there 49 times. Yeah. So that's I'm going to go ahead and uh, mark here as me. So. Uh, Chugging along here, one to Connor, both tied at uh, speed with uh, Floyd and Mr. McGregor. Defense, obviously, that's going to be a no-brainer, right? It's a no-brainer. That, that's the one thing that scares me about this fight is Connor McGregor does get hit. He, you know, he's not exactly the best defensive fighter. He, he, he's open to shots. Even if you saw his fight with Jose Aldo, you know, he landed a hook, but he also got hit with a hook. Just Jose didn't land as powerful. So. You know, Connor's been hit. You look at the Nate Diaz fights, he will take hits. He has a hell of a chin, but he does take hits. So Floyd definitely wins defense. So we'll mark on for you and for me in and, and defense. I'll hand it over to you. Technique could be a, another one where you think, obviously, the boxer fighting in a boxing ring against a MMA fighter making a transition, it's going to be skewed to him. But 
How do you see it, Brendan? That's a tricky one because te technique how? From a traditional boxing standpoint or talking about from a martial arts standpoint? Because Connor's technique as far as being able to knock guys out moving backwards to the side, his orthodox, unorthodox style, the technique as far as having more tools would be Connor. But as far as straight up boxing technique, it's not even close. Floyd Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? So that's why th these things are hard to score because it depends on the technique we're talking about. So who are you going to uh, gonna give it to? Are you going to give it to both? Or are you going to give it to one or the other? What do you think? Since, since it's a boxing ring, I will give it to, to, to Floyd on this. So moving along, I'm going to go ahead and give the technique uh, to Floyd Mayweather as well. Just been doing it longer. It's, these things are natural to him. I think on this point, uh, it's skewed a big time to him. This one, I like this one, footwork. This one is, a, is a, going to be a good one. Who do you want to give it to? Who do you have it for, Connor or Floyd? Yeah, this, see, this, this one, now Floyd, he, you know, he, he pivots off his back foot, and he's, he's hard to corner, and he's hard to get angles on. But as far as pure footwork, more dynamic, it's, it's, it's Connor all day. And this is why this is a fight. There's, 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 Let's see, there's two things that stick out on here. Two, three things, really. Can I go through it? Can I jump ahead a little bit? Okay. The things that stick out like crazy to me are footwork, uh, experience, and the X fat. This, I'm going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> okay. We're going to go ahead and skip a few. Go ahead. Well, I'm just saying, well, look at all this. You know, the chin, they both have chins. Neither guy, you know, both guys have chins of granite. Experience. This is such a huge factor here because as the rounds go on, Floyd knows where to get, where to rest, where to take breaks, where Connor doesn't. You're talking about 12 rounds in there with the best of all time. So, is that going to catch up to Connor? You know, Connor's never had a big enough stage ever. He always comes to, to he brings it when the, when the stage is at his biggest. So, um, that experience here scares me a little bit as a Connor McGregor fan. But the the one thing we cannot take away, it's the only reason why this would be the biggest pay per view of all time, is the X factor. That's the one thing. Let me ask you this. You know boxing. I, you and me both know how Floyd Mayweather is going to fight Saturday night to a T. I can break down how he's going to fight every round to a T. Do you know how Connor's going to fight? I would think, logically speaking, if I was a coach of his and, and telling him to come to this Before fight, you go on, yeah, you're guessing, right? I'm guessing. So I can only assume. Yeah, we so can only. Much. We don't know. We have no yeah, idea. But no I idea. can watch 49 fights of Floyd fighting. And tell you exactly how he's going to fight. I can watch a 15 second highlight clip of him knocking out Pauli Malignaggi, and that's all we got. That X factor is everything, and that's why it's the biggest fight in history. In terms of Floyd fighting, though, I actually, when he says he's going to walk forward, I believe him. because I've I, seen that. No, and I believe him because of this. I believe him because he, I think he feels that the guys that he's walked over on before in past fights are nothing close to the skill level of Conor. And it may be a, a thing where he might be underestimating the ability that Conor could have, but I think he feels so confident that he can't hit him with anything that he can do that. I, I agree, and he, he goes, you, you know, you can give it, but can you take it? He keeps emphasizing that in all these meetings. Can You, you can give it, but can you take it? The, the thing is with, with Floyd is he, the reason he's 49-0 is because he's the smartest fighter in the game. So really, I don't think he's the most ath athletically gifted fighter by any means. There's way That'd be a Roy Jones. Roy Jones, yeah. we can keep going on. I, I think Canelo is actually more athletic than he is. However, um, with Floyd, you know, he, he, when he says he's going to go forward, he's going to do it when, when it's the right time. Yeah. He's not going to do it in the first, second, or third round. He's not stupid. He, he's going to download the data and then decide to go forward. But he's not doing that early on. He's not going to get risks. He doesn't take risks. No, he doesn't. He, yeah, he's, that's, problem that's always been an over, uh, overarching theme in his career, his risk-reward factor in, in these fights. He'll take a risk when it's safe enough to take the risk. So, but Connor here will take risk, and he will throw one to give one. So, And that's the big risk, too, because let me tell you, the chin thing here, I think Floyd has one of the most underrated chins in boxing because he's taken. Does he get hit? Well, no. But when he has gotten hit, no, no, when he has gotten hit, He's gotten hit in flush, and he's took him well. Madonna hit him with a big, big straight. Zab it, it rocked him. Zab, Zab, rocked, Zab, him. Zab rocked, him. rocked him, and he was able to recover, do well, and then dominate from that point yeah. forward. You know, so I, I think chin-wise, very underrated chin. Connor, Brown's my only thing. Got hit by a 180-pound man. That's and the thing, though. His head kind of popped up when he did get hit by Nate. He he did get that's stunned in the first one. Man, it though, is. it is with four but, gloves on. Still but he get knocked out. But with boxing. 
It's true. It's not how hard. It's the technique, how you throw the punch in the perfect spot. It's reaction time, too. It's reaction time and distance, which he's the best in MMA at doing. He's the best in boxing doing. And that's why you got to fight. How would you fill out the rest of the chart so we can go see and see who chin, and chin, what? Chin, go ahead and mark it out. Chin, both of them, yeah. amazing chins. Experience. Floyd. Ring IQ, Floyd. Ring control, Floyd. But I think the ring control is kind of tough. I think Connor could have a big up on ring control because he likes to put people in places yeah, where he wants Floyd's to. Floyd's fought Matadors before, right? He's, yeah. always, he's always done this. He's good at that. So Floyd, you know, the ring control, that's how Floyd wins rounds by gaining the, that ring control and getting guys to move where they don't want to move. Again, all this is nullified by the next factor. You think that? I'm riding and dying on the sex factor. <laughs> okay, I was going to say. I have a job at Showtime <laughs> is the X factor. Everything else, I'm trying to make a case for it. This thing right here, you think, takes out all just about every yeah, single advantage no, that Floyd has. No one else can, you, no one can give me, tell me the X factor. I'll tell you one X factor that I've been kind of mulling over this whole, whole thing that I, I think could have a big effect. And it's the most obvious thing age. of this age. Floyd can turn old overnight. And when you turn out overnight, it doesn't matter what opponent you're in there with. If they're a high caliber athlete with a good amount of skills, yeah. that age is going to show through. Yeah. And we've seen it with fighters throughout their careers. They just get old overnight. We saw it with Manny Pacquiao against Jeff Horn. Normal circumstances, a Manny Pacquiao would completely kill a guy like oh, Jeff oh, Horn. Bernard Hopkins comes out the back. He's like, did you say something about age? <laughs> Who said age? You did? Oh, okay. But it, even then, it caught up to him with I Joe Smith. Did he? He's a freak, though. That, yeah, that guy's a freak. He's a he, genetic he, freak. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. He's an outlier. But yeah, he, I, I'm with you. And yeah. Again, that, those X factors are all in Connor's favor. It's age, movement, uh, awkwardness, it's all pointed towards Connor, which no one can predict. And if he brings an MMA technique too that we don't know about that's legal in boxing or, or that you can. The, 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 only, the only, when we talk about techniques and dirty stuff is, you know, the triple G where he punches past your head and, the and then the elbow back to yeah. the left hand, there's stuff like that, but we've seen it before. Well, I'm thinking maybe even inside the clinch, if he could get an underhook and underhook, move him. Underhook, he's gonna wear him out. But remember, in, in order to wear Floyd out in, in the, in the clinch, yeah. Floyd has to be willing to fight back and play that game. Otherwise, he's just going to be moving around. Floyd's going to get out. It takes two to tango. I, Floyd's very experienced where if he wants to waste all that energy, get the underhook and try and move him, if Floyd's just going to, yeah, move me there, I'm cool here, it, it's not going to work as well. All right, Brendan. Well, we broke it down. You're right and dying on, on this X factor here. Hey, you know what? Also, another thing. Obviously, a lot of people feel Floyd will win, but the one thing that I think is true that I could point out to people too, it is a fight, and even though as cliche as it sounds, anything really can happen uh, in there uh, in a fight. For sure. Yeah. And that, again, that that's why this X Factor and the the MMA bookies, the Las Vegas bookies, are all you know. That's what's swaying the odds. I wish I would have put a bet at the very beginning on the. Uh, some of the knockout ones. I heard the bet that you put, and I'm like, man, that's a, that, that's a smart bet. That's a good payout. We'll see. We'll see, man. <laughs> Brendan, thank you yeah, so much, man. Thank you, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah, Thanks for uh, stopping by over here at uh, Fight Up TV. It goes down this Saturday, August 26th. Floyd Mayweather, Conor McGregor on pay-per-view.